So just to recap um, from the last video, so we're using a, a very simple machine learning model uh, called linear regression, uh, which has two parameters, the bias and the weight, and we want to find the best combination of bias and weight that gives us the lowest um, value for the loss function or cost function. So uh, the Okay, let's go back to the code. So uh, let's, let's just clean this up a little bit. Um, we don't need to look at the data, that's fine. Uh, and we can combine these two cells here. So let me just remove that, put that down here. Like that and then I can get rid of this cell here. Okay, so one way to uh, reduce the loss function is to manually play around with these. Now, of course, that's not, that's very inefficient. So why don't we uh, try to get the computer to do the work for us? So the first thing we could do, for example, is uh, we could get the computer to try several different values. So instead of having one value for w, uh, we could have several. Uh, so I'm just going to pick some uh, random values. Let me just uh, cut and paste here so we don't waste a lot of time. And let's call that guess. So we have a, a, a list of uh, guesses for w. Now which guess is the best? Okay. Okay, so we want to try all of these. So we want basically to write a program that, lo that loops through these values. Uh, and to do that, we use a for loop. So we can write for w in w guess. Um, and let's just, uh, let's just print it out so you can see what, what's happening here. So we just print w out and we should get, uh, yes, so we get all the, as you can see here, we get all the values in our list, uh, one after the other. Okay, and so basically for each value of w, we want to calculate y predicted uh, and an error. Uh, or, yeah, or the L2. So I want to move everything here inside the for loop. And so uh, Python, the way you tell Python what belongs inside a for loop uh, is by indentation. So I'm going to highlight everything that I want to uh, include in the for loop and I'm going to hit the tab key and that moves everything in here. So everything here, you can see a line next to it, all that will be repeated for every value of w. But of course I only want one, one plot at the end here. So uh, that's not included in the for loop. Uh, let, let's try it here. Okay, so now we get some values. Uh, we can see, so, so if I use, I can actually print out w right next to it. Okay, so 0.75, that's kind of a, a high value. Then it goes down if I use 1 for w, and it goes down even further for 1.25, and now it starts to go up a little and so forth. Um, okay, so, so that's very handy. Um, let's try to plot that. Um, so I don't need this right now. And I want to, for every w, I want to uh, plot the error. Um, so one way is to generate another list that have, that have these errors. Um, so let's do that. Okay, now I want to uh, try to print this. So I want to print uh, make a plot of this data here. So what do I want to do? Um, I want to, so I need, I have a list of x values. So I want to, let's say, remove this. My x-axis should be my guess values. And then I need here, I need a list of L2 values uh, for every value of W. So I need an empty list of L2 values that starts out empty and then every time I compute an L2 
I want to append it to my L2 list. And then I want that as my Y value. Let's see how that works. Okay, so that worked pretty well. Um, let's not print this out. So to uh, temporarily remove some code, I can add a comment like that. So that now is just a comment in the code. It's not uh, executable code. And I want to now generate more points. Uh, and I'm kind of sick of just typing them in. Luckily, NumPy has a way, whoops, NumPy has a way of generating a series of numbers. So it's called linspace. And let's see, I want to do it between 0.75, that's my low value, 2.0 is my high value, and I want 20 points in between. Like that. Uh, let's just to see what that looks like. Uh, so I want to make a list out of it. Uh, print that out. Okay, so we can see we start at 0 0.75, then we get some values that increase until we get all the way to 2.0. Okay, so that works. I don't need this anymore. And if I run this now, I should get a smoother curve. Yes. So I get a smoother curve. Um, and I can see that I have, for the, the value of B that I've chosen, I have a minimum here uh, of about 1.36 or something like that. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to do is rather than creating a plot like this and eyeballing it, I actually want to write uh, some Python code that finds this finds the value of this point. And so that's what I'll do in the next video.